Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Now, as we know, backgammon can be both a game of elegant simplicity and confounding complexity. Today, I want us to talk about the second best move. Now, over the board, some plays look automatic. They look obvious. We play them quickly, but stop. Resist yourself for making the obvious play and ask yourself, always what the second best play is. You can evaluate the two and then see which one really is the best play. Do not settle on your first choice too quickly because the second best move may turn out to be the best move. Let's look at a few positions to illustrate this idea. Position one. So white here to play three one. Now here, it looks obvious to make the 20 point. Green has 11 checkers in the zone, has an attacking structure. We don't want to get blitzed off the board. Also, on the other side of a board, making the five point looks a good choice with a 3-1. We make the best point, we strengthen our home board, but stop for a moment and ask yourself, well, what is the second best move here? And you will see, actually, the best move is to play 13 to 10, 8 to 7, which is the third best play. Making the 20 point or making the 5 point are both blunders. Here, we have to hit from 8 to 7 and play one down with the 3. We are 29 pips down in the race. We can't have to be passive. We must attack. Anything else is a blunder. And by hitting and making the right play, we have 8% more game winning chances and 4% extra gammons. So use the 12 second delay on your clock. Use a little bit of time. It's not speed gammon. When you see the 20 point, when you see the five point, ask yourself, have you missed something else? Here, the third best play is actually the best play. Position two. How would you play double three here as white? So here it looks right to play eight to five with three checkers, 16, 13, for a number of reasons. White makes for four prime, white fills for five points, which is usually a good idea, and white also safeties for checker in the outfield. So this play does three really good things over the board. But stop, what is your second best play? And the second best play of 24, 15, 16 to 13 is actually the best play. Again, for several reasons. So white is ahead in the race by 17 pips. So we need to get that blot moving so we're not trapped. Also, by keeping the eight point, fives and sixes play a lot worse for green. And by moving that checker from the 24 to the 15 point, threes are duplicated for green to step up and escape our home board and also to hit us in the outfield. So the second best play is the best play. Look for other options. Use your clock time, evaluate. Let's move forward. White to play 5-3. So here, it looks correct to play 21-13. Again, for a number of reasons. So we are 20 pips up in the race. It remakes the midpoint and also green has a blot in our home board and also on the bar. So usually we want to take advantage of green being on the bar and run. The game plan suggests when you're ahead in the race, then run. 
But stop. What is the second best play? And here the correct move is to hit 6-1 to one and play 13-10. to 10. And this is true for a number of reasons. We win 12% more gammons. Now that's important when we are four away because a gammon will take us to a two away score. We can also follow Paul McGrill's bold criteria here. We have an anchor. If we get hit back, we can use that as a landing spot. We have a stronger home board. Green has a blot in the board and is on the bar. And finally, we do not want Green to make that anchor. We don't want him to have that asset. So knock him off. Only 11 shots hit back. We then can cover with fours and sixes. So gammons would drop significantly to 18% if we did not hit green off the ace point. So here, the best play, 13 to 10, 6 to 1. Think about the match score. Think about the two best plays. And finally, position 4. White to play double two. Now here it looks right to play 11 to seven with both checkers. Making the six prime is just so strong we want to make the six prime most of the time over the board and completely trap uh, our opponent. Green would be trapped on a two point. And we do not want to have the stripped points in the outfield that are going to be more difficult to clear. So playing those two checkers, 11 to seven, looks obvious, straightforward. We make it without thinking. But again, what is the second best play here. What else could you do? So here, the second best play is 11 to 9, 8 to 6, and 8 to 4. And you can see there on the left in the analysis that making the 7 point is not even the top six moves. So why is this move correct? Well, firstly, we do not need the six prime because we're only gonna to have to break the six prime the roll afterwards. So why make something for one go to then dismant dismantle it the go after? No point. Uh, clearing the point six away from the anchor is also incredibly important. So our sixes play better. By making this play, we also have an extra spare on the six point, which means we can play those forward with fives and threes and twos and, and so on. So that increases our flexibility. And finally, green has a three point board. So it's not fatal if we're hit. If green should roll a six one, for example, or a five two, there are a few other rolls and hit us in the outfield, then we can re-enter quickly and bring the checker around. By making the seven point, which would be a bad move to make, we're gonna end up in a situation where we're gonna to have to break those points and leave shots anyway. But this time the shots will be direct rather than indirect. So the second best play is the best play. So there you are. I hope you've seen kind of a way of thinking over the board. Don't just opt for the first decision. Stop and reflect. You probably are familiar with shopping online and you see something you love and maybe it's a new pair of headphones, but don't just buy the first headphones. Have a shop around. Compare them with another set of headphones. Maybe the second set of headphones are the best set of headphones. Have a look at this position. 
apply what you've learned in this lesson and have a great day. Thank you very much. See you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.